Hi, and welcome to the Data Pitman channel. Today we're going to talk about the thesaurus file. And the thesaurus file is a very important file that you can generate in order to deduplicate your data. We're going to use in this example a deduplication based on a co-citation analysis. Some sorts of analysis are more prone to issues in terms of duplicated values because there was no normalization of this da data on the origin. So, especially when we talk about the references that are cited, probably they were not standardized and you will have to deduplicate them. In other situations, you may have to deduplicate something like uh, an error in the way that the country was written, uh, names of authors that may be the same author, but in one of, of, of the situations, it has all the middle names and the other don't. But this way of doing the thesaurus file will work with any kind of situation. We're going to do this one for co-citation analysis, okay? So let's go. First of all, you should create uh, a new map and we're going to use here uh, some data that we ha already have that was obtained in Scopus. Could be any one of the, the sources that was we are ready to use or any other kind of analysis that offers you the possibility of using a thesaurus file. You can see here that Vosphere thesaurus file is optional here. And the difference here is that if you put this thesaurus file, it will try to either try to uh, change one string to another string, or it may try to change this string to zero values or to, let's say, delete this string, okay? But before you can do this, it's, it's very difficult for you to uh, imagine what kind of du du duplications you will have. So first of all, we will start doing our analysis here. Uh, let me set a threshold like, uh, I'm going to put a lower threshold. It depends on what kind of analysis you're doing. But then I will have the cited references. And if I click here in the cited references and put them in order, I will easily s see that probably there's some issue here. Uh, maybe this is the same reference, maybe not, but it have different, uh, difference in here, but maybe it was some kind of error for the person that uh, have put this reference on it. But we can take a look at this to see like, uh, this three different ways of, of referencing here, maybe they are the same. So what should we do in this moment? You just put the cited references in order, in alphabetical order, that would be the best way of doing this, and then right click here and export selected cited references. If you found out, looking on, on your um, notes here listed, that you just have a couple of issues, you can unselect all of them and just select the issues that you found and just export the selected cited references. But in this time, this time now I'm going to export all of them. So I have the whole bunch of them to do something about this. I'm going to export the cited references and I'm going to put this as a thesaurus. Okay. And export. There you go. Now that we have exported this, we have to open up this file. There you go. And as you can see, we have a tab delimited file. And we can then copy and paste this tab delimited file. You can open this in any kind of uh, text document software, like a Notepad. I use Notepad++ because I think it's a better, a better software. But anyhow, you can just select all. And then we are going to copy this to an Excel, just create a new one here, okay. Can be also um, Google Spreadsheet, doesn't matter. So as you can see, it just offered me all the cited references here as they are um, indexed in some way there. We are going to eliminate the first one and the other two, okay. And now we have the cited reference, then we, we're going to change the, the title to something like um, label, and the other will be replace by. 
okay? And we are going to take a look here if we are going to um, deduplicate something. So let's say we are going to deduplicate the case that we found out earlier. It was this one. Okay? As you can see, these three documents are the same. They are exactly the same document, but as they are written in a slightly different way, now you have an issue because it doesn't recognize as being the same document. And so all your study, all your network will, won't consider them to be the same uh, reference. So we, sh we must choose one of those, like we can choose the first one and put in the second column. And now it's going to join all of them. Let's see the other one here, Moreno, Neto, no, this is not the same, uh, uh, this plus one is all the same, so let's just copy it here. Okay, we just join another one. And, well, I'm just going to delete all the others because I'm, I'm just doing an example. We should do this to all the files in order to, not all the nodes in order to have a good, uh, a good thesaurus file. Let me just, I'm sorry that the version here of my Excel is in Portuguese, but I think it won't be a hassle. Okay, there you go. I have my thesaurus file ready. I will just select all this, copy. Then I'm going to paste here to my thesaurus and I'm going to save this. Okay, there you go. So back to Voice Viewer, I'm just going to go back and go back again. Remember, seven, uh, 796 uh, documents met the threshold here, okay? And here now in VozViewer Tazars file, I have a Tazars file that I just created with you all here. So we're going to select the Tazars, okay? And go next. And then put here like my threshold to two. And as you can see, it has now 792 met the threshold because it just consolidated the other ones that were listed in the Tazars file to the first ones. And if I just take a look here, you will see here that when I'm, um, and it should join all things to Alstool. Let's see, here it is, the first one that was joined together. See that the number of citations was start to be a little bit bigger. And the same thing was with the Alvar J, Alvar J, here it is, seven. So you will probably have your issue solved here. You can also, um, if you want to, you can at this moment try to um, normalize all these results in order to be a little bit more simple to see in your graph, like putting like Alvar et al. 2012, 2012 to A, 2012 B, well, for the different uh, kinds of uh, results that you have. You can use the thesaurus file also to change the names of the nodes to a more readable one, but this is an option that you can use it or not. Okay, so if I just finished, I will have my final result here. And I, I just selected to, to have all the results so it will g give a, 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 a component and several small components here, doesn't matter. Well, I hope this will help you uh, to solve this kind of issue. I will do other videos explaining how to use the Tesaurus file for uh, co-occurrences and co-altering, but this is for a more, uh, how can I say, challenging uh, situation where you're dealing with co-citation analysis, because otherwise you will have a limited view of the co-citation that are going on among the cited references of your file, okay? So if you enjoyed the channel, please subscribe, give your thumbs up, share with your friends, and I hope to see you all in the next video. Cheers. Bye-bye.